I don't know about you guys, but I'm enjoying indie games a lot more these days than the big AAA games. Why is that? Well, because the fuck's sake. I don't know about you, but I am enjoying indie games a lot more these days than the big AAA games we are getting because they're a lot of fun and the AAA games are not. <coughs> and we've got the PlayStation Portal now, which means obviously you can play all your PlayStation 5 games, stream them to this device, but some games are better suited to the smaller screen of the Portal, which is why I have pulled together a list of some of the best indie games you need to play right now on your PlayStation Portal. First off on our list is Bright Memory Infinite. This game is an absolute banger. It is a full on arcade action packed FPS game and it was made by one person. Yes, that is how impressive this is and I'll put some gameplay on the screen of me playing on the portal and just some full screen so you can get more of a vibe what this game is all about but you play as Shelia, yes it's Shelia, not Sheila who is armed to the teeth with guns, swords and some special powers actually and it is an absolute blast as you just blow up bad guys all over the place, slice them in half. It's kind of like a mixture of a really high octane FPS game with something like Ghost Runner because you do wall running, you slice the bad guys with your swords. There's huge insane boss fights. It's not a very long game, that is the only downside. It will only take you about two or three hours to blaze through, but it is a lot of fun and it is fantastic on the PlayStation Portal. It makes really good use of all the DualSense capabilities with the haptic feedback and things like that. And it just looks amazing on this screen on your PlayStation Portal. A great game, pick up. It's only about $10, 10 or $15, depending if it's on sale. Pick it up from the PlayStation Store. It's a digital only game. You can't get a physical copy and then download it to your PlayStation and you'll have an absolute blast, I promise you. It's probably one of the most fun first person shooter games I've played in years. I really hope they bring out either more chapters or make a sequel because it is a ton of fun. Now that we've got the FPS game out of the way, maybe you want something a little bit slower paced but can be equally as hectic, well we have got Army of Ruin. If you've ever played any of the Bullet Hell games, in particular my favourite one is Vampire Survivors which is unfortunately not on PlayStation 5 yet, which made me want to go and find something which would scratch that itch on PlayStation 5 and this kind of game is fantastic on the portal. You're literally just controlling your character, moving them about, picking up power-ups and blazing through hordes of enemies. Each hero you pick does have a special ability and it does have some kind of RPG elements where you are leveling up your character to use them and replay the levels again as your character gets way more powerful but it is just absolutely amazing. If you've played Vampire Survivors on any of the other platforms it's available on or on your mobile phone, it's free, download it and check it out. This is basically like probably a nicer looking version as this has some really, really nice 3D graphics. Ton of fun. I can't really say anything else other than pick this up and play. It's only, I think it cost me six pounds, so that will be about $10. It is dirt cheap and you'll get hours of entertainment as there's tons of different levels to unlock, heroes to unlock, weapons to unlock. It is just a really good time and it's fantastic on the smaller screen. Chill out on the sofa, play this for 10-15 minutes, complete a level and you're happy or you can play it for hours and grind your way through it and you'll have a smile on your face too. Next up is a new game, this only came out a couple of days ago, big thanks to 505 Games for sending me a code to check this out, and this is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, the remake. I had never played the original one of this, so I quickly did a Google and saw the reviews were kind of glowing, but then I was like, oh, 
I'll wait until I play it myself. This is a really unique game. I've never played a game like this. And again, it's perfect for the smaller screen of the portal. And what is really unique about this is there's two brothers and you control them both at the same time using your controller. So one stick controls one brother and another stick controls other brother. And then you basically are just using the trigger buttons for actions. It takes a little while to get your head around. It's, it, it's a bit jarring at first. You're like, whoa, you're trying to move the, the little dudes about. But then once you get the hang of it, it is really engrossing. The story is amazing. And the puzzles are really unique because you're using both the brothers to get across whatever the puzzle is, traverse whatever landscape or move something about. It is really, really good. And this is one that's maybe we've not had so far on the list. So Bright Memory Infinite, um, and our Army of Ruin are possibly not the best stories in the world. They're just a ton of fun. This one has a story, people. Trust me, it will hit you in the feels. Not a lot, the longest game ever either. It's a, I think it will maybe about five hours or so, but really good, only $20, brand new. Well, not brand new, it's a remake, you know what I mean? But if you're into games like that and you like what you're seeing on the gameplay here, well worth checking out and a great addition to your library. You will not regret it and a great game to sit and chill out on your portal playing. Before we talk about our next game here, make sure you let me know in the comments which one of these games you like the look of and will be checking out yourself. I need to just say this, I need to drop the F-bomb. This game is cool as fuck. Rollerdrome, oh my god. How is this game not more popular? It is absolutely amazing. It is literally like Tony Hawk's meets Max Payne, for real. Like, you're roller skating about, I know Tony Hawk's on a skateboard, right? But you're doing the same kind of things. You're going up and down ramps, you're grinding on all these sort of grid rails and poles and stuff. It is awesome. And then you're diving off in slow motion, shooting bad guys. It's kind of like an arena shooter as well. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. This is a single player game. It has got such a cool art style. The cell shaded art style looks fantastic on this game. It's got a campaign you can play through, a lot of fun, and it's got a banging soundtrack. Honestly, this game is so freaking cool. Absolute sleeper if you've not played on it. It's on PlayStation Plus, I think, or it was a PlayStation Plus essential game. If not, it's not expensive. Buy it from the store, it's digital only. Get it downloaded and you will not regret it. This is a ton of fun. You, once you start playing, you really get hooked in on this, trying to get better scores for each level, complete it quicker, take out the bad guys quicker, get more power-ups. It is so, so much fun. The bullet time effects in this game are so good. Also, you're hitting ramps full speed, doing all sorts of crazy acrobatic tricks in the air, then bullet time, line up your shot, take out the bad guys, continue rollerblading about the place or roller skating, whatever. It is amazing. What a unique game. Who came up with this? Who thought of this idea? Big thumbs up to you, my friend, because it works as a game and actually would be a badass movie. It, speaking of movies, it made me think of um, Big Arnie movie from back in the day, the 80s. Running Man. I was getting Running Man vibes from this. I don't know why. Let me know if you get that too when you play Roller Drome. Now let's talk about one of my favourite shmups of all time, Sky Force Anniversary. This game is awesome. Absolutely awesome, top down old school arcade shooter where you have a beautiful little aircraft which you can arm to the teeth by unlocking multiple weapons and then you can spend your money at the start of each run for some extra powerful weapons like shields and laser beams and like nuclear bombs it seems, all these kind of things. It is really, really cool and you're trying to save a whole bunch of humans so you're not just out there just 
trying to take out everyone in your airspace and on the ground, which includes like, you know, tanks, planes, ginormous boss fights. This game has it all. And to get a perfect run, you need to not get touched. So don't get shot. You need to collect all the coins or gems. I can't remember what it is. You need to pick up all the humans. And then I say, you can't get touched. Can't get touched, pick up all the humans, collect all the coins and gems and Oh, destroy all the bad guys. That's it. You need to destroy 100% of the bad guys. Destroy them all. Do all that. You get the four ticks, coins, checks, whatever it is. And then you'll unlock more difficulties at more levels until you get to nightmare mode. Which, as you can imagine, is a nightmare. It's absolutely brutal. I've not unlocked them all yet. I've made a pretty good dent on it, though. And it is an absolute blast. This game, I think you can get physically on PS4. Digitally, you can get it from the store. Easy, just download it, get it on your portal, and you will, on your PS5, you know what I mean. People in the comments, you don't download anything on your portal. Yes, we all know that. Download it onto your PS5 and play it on your portal. These sort of games are fantastic on the smaller screen. I think you will love it. Next up, we're slowing the pace down just a little bit here with Teardown. I didn't know what to expect with this game. I saw a trailer and I thought it looks kind of like Minecraft, the kind of pixelated graphics. But I thought I'll give it a go anyway. I don't regret it. This game is a ton of fun where you are literally destroying everything. You can destroy everything. There's a campaign where there's missions where you need to destroy stuff, go and steal stuff, you name it really simple campaign but the fun is in the gameplay and because it's not super fast paced it's fantastic for the portal you can sit chill out after a stressful day and go demolish a building with a sledgehammer or with a big digger or a big dump truck you name it you can destroy it you can pick up stuff as well and throw stuff blow stuff up it, it's just a good time who doesn't love destroying stuff and with this game you can literally tear down everything. The art style is really unique. It's kind of like if Minecraft had good graphics. It's like, it looks like Minecraft RTX almost. I don't know if there is ray tracing in this, but it looks really good. You can actually play this up to 120 frames per second. I know that's no use for your portal, which is limited to 60, but on your, you know, your gaming monitor or your fancy TV, you could do that if you wanted to, but this game, well worth checking out. Very different from the other ones on the list. Hopefully there is a bit of variety in this list. I've tried to pick ones that are maybe a bit different that not everyone will have played. But I do have a whole bunch more. So if you do want a part two to this list, let me know down below in the comments and I'll give you some other amazing indie games you should be checking out on your portal. But with that being said, YouTube thinks you should watch this next video from me on screen right now.